All right, so today we shall learn about English conversations. Now here are a few sample conversations. These are related to talking about eating. Conversation A, speaker one, what did you have for breakfast? Speaker two, I had coffee, toast, and eggs. Speaker one, how did you have your eggs? Speaker two, soft boiled, as usual. Conversation B, speaker one, how about a cup of coffee? Speaker two, that sounds good. Speaker one, I always enjoy coffee after work. Speaker two, I like it best in the morning. Conversation C, speaker one, would you like to have an orange? Speaker two, thanks, but I don't think so. Speaker one, oranges are good for you. Speaker two, I know, but I had one about an hour ago. Conversation D, speaker one, where did you have your lunch today? Speaker two, I ate at the cafeteria with John. Speaker one, did you have a good lunch? Speaker two, yes, I had a hot roast beef sandwich. Conversation E, speaker one, there's a cafeteria over there. Speaker two, didn't you eat before we left? Speaker one, yes, but I'm hungry again. Speaker two, well, I'm still digesting my lunch. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can make a sentence when we have to say different things. What did you have for breakfast? Now, instead of breakfast, if we have to ask about lunch, what did you have for lunch? Or they. Instead of you, we have to ask about they. Then, what did they have for lunch? Now, instead of have, if we have to say eat, what did they eat for lunch? Or dinner, what did they eat for dinner? Or instead of they, we, if we have to say she, what did she eat for dinner? Now, a similar kind of example. How did you have your eggs? Now, instead of eggs, if we have to ask about coffee, how did you have your coffee? Or instead of coffee, if we have to ask about meat, how did you have your meat? Or potatoes, how did you have your potatoes? Or vegetables, how did you have your vegetables? Or salad, how did you have your salad? Now again, a similar kind of example. Did you have your eggs soft-boiled? Now instead of soft-boiled, if in case we have to say hard-boiled, then the question will be, did you have your eggs hard-boiled or poached? Did you have your eggs poached or scrambled? Did you have your eggs scrambled or fried? Did you have your eggs fried? Again, a same kind of example. I always enjoy a cup of coffee after work. Now, instead of coffee, if we have to say tea, I always enjoy a cup of tea after work. Or a glass of milk, I always enjoy a glass of milk after work. Or wine, I always enjoy a glass of wine after work. Or a lemonade, I always enjoy a glass of lemonade after work. Now here are a few examples. Now these statements we can add after the question to make it sound more interesting. Or we can say to insist a person. Would you like to have an orange? Now after this we can also say oranges are good for you. Would you like to have an apple? Apples are good for you. Would you like to have a banana, bananas are good for you. 
Would you like to have a lemon? Lemons are good for you. Would you like to have a tomato? Tomatoes are good for you. Now here are a few conversations related to breakfast and lunch at a restaurant. Conversation A. Speaker one. I'd like to order breakfast. Speaker two. What can I bring you? Speaker one. I'd like coffee, scrambled eggs, and bacon. Speaker two. I'll bring the coffee first. Conversation B. Speaker one. Please give me a ham sandwich. Speaker two. Would you like it on rye bread or white? Speaker one. Rye bread, please, with mustard. Speaker two. Here it is. Conversation C. Speaker one. I'd like a piece of pie now. And coffee later, please. Speaker two, do you want cream for your coffee? Speaker one, yes, cream but no sugar. Speaker two, I'll bring the pie right away. Conversation D. Speaker one, a hamburger and a cup of coffee, please. Speaker two, here you go. Speaker one, how much do I owe you? Speaker two, sixty-two cents. Conversation E. Speaker one, what did you order? Speaker two, I ordered a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Speaker one, what kind of sandwich did you order? Speaker two, a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Now, here are a few examples. Where we shall learn how we can say a statement or how we can answer something in a better way. I'd like coffee. Now instead of this, we can also say, "I'd like some coffee, please." I'd like tea. Now instead of this, we can also say, "I'd like some tea, please." I'd like orange juice. Now instead of this, we can also say. I'd like some orange juice, please. I'd like milk. Instead of this, we can also say, "I'd like some milk, please." I'd like hot chocolate. Now, instead of this, we can say, "I'd like some hot chocolate, please." Now, here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask about different things. Would you like some coffee? Instead of this, if we have to ask for orange juice, would you like some orange juice? Or instead of like, if we can also say care for, would you care for some orange juice? Now instead of orange juice, if we have to ask for tea, would you care for some tea? Now if we have to ask a group, like anyone, we can ask, would anyone care for some tea? Now instead of tea, if we have to ask for wine, would anyone care for some wine? Now a similar kind of example. Please give me a ham sandwich. Now instead of ham, if we have to ask for cheese, we can say, "Please give me a cheese sandwich." Or if we have to ask for ham and cheese, we can say, "Please give me a ham and cheese sandwich." Or instead, we have to ask for roast beef. We can say, "Please give me a roast beef sandwich." Or instead, we have to ask for chicken salad. We can say, "Please give me a chicken salad sandwich." Now again, a similar kind of example. Do you want cream for your coffee? Now instead of cream, if we have to ask for sugar. We can say, "Do you want sugar in your coffee?" Now again, instead of coffee, if we have to ask for tea, then the question would be, "Do you want some sugar for your tea?" Now instead of "Do you want," we can also ask with 
Would you like? Would you like sugar for your tea? Now again, instead of sugar, if we have to ask for a lemon, would you like lemon for your tea? Now instead of would you like, we can also use would you prefer? Then the question would be, would you prefer lemon for your tea? Now here are a few examples of short conversations. Speaker one, did you order some food? Speaker two, yes I did. I ordered some food. Speaker one, are you ordering some food? Speaker two, yes I am. I'm ordering some food. Speaker one, have you ordered some food? Speaker two, yes. I have, I have ordered some food. Speaker one, are you going to order some food? Speaker two, yes, I am. I'm going to order some food. Now here are a few conversations related to ordering food. Conversation A, speaker one, could we have a table for four? Speaker two, there's a nice table right by the window. Speaker one, may we also have the menu right away? Speaker two, I'll get the menu immediately. Conversation B, speaker one, would you care for some roast beef? Speaker two, no, I'll have sirloin steak. Speaker one, how do you like your steak? Speaker two, I'd prefer it medium rare. Conversation C, speaker one, would you like to have soup? Speaker two, yes, creamed onion please. Speaker one, mashed, boiled, or french fried potatoes. Speaker two, I'll have the french fried. Conversation D, speaker one, what vegetables would you like with your dinner? Speaker two, carrots please, and corn with cream sauce. Speaker one, what kind of dressing do you want on your salad? French? Speaker two, I believe I'll take Russian dressing tonight. Conversation E, speaker one, would you like to order a dessert? Speaker two, what kinds of pie do you have? Speaker one, peach, lemon cream, and apple. Speaker two, I'd like lemon cream, please. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how to ask for different things. Would you care for some soup? Now instead of soup, if we have to ask for broth, then the question would be, would you care for some broth or consomme? Now the question would be, would you care for some consomme or pottage? Would you care for some pottage or chowder? Would you care for some chowder? Again, a similar kind of example. I'd like creamed onion soup, please. Now instead of onion, we have to ask for mushroom. Then the sentence would be, I'd like mushroom soup, please. Now instead, we have to ask for vegetable. Then, I'd like vegetable soup, please. Or potato, I'd like potato soup, please. Or cream of tomato, I'd like cream of tomato soup, please. Again, same kind of example. I believe I'll have mashed potatoes. Now instead of mashed, we have to ask for baked. Then I believe I'll have baked potatoes. Or scalped. Then the sentence would be I believe I'll have scalped potatoes. Or French fried. I believe I'll have French fried potatoes or hashed brown. I believe I'll have 
hashed brown potatoes or sweet I believe I'll have sweet potatoes now again the same kind of example I think I'll have pie for dessert now instead of pie if you have to say cake I think I'll have cake for dessert or if you have to say pudding we can say I think I'll have pudding for dessert instead of pudding if we have to say cookies then I think I'll have cookies for dessert or custard I think I'll have custard for dessert or ice cream I think I'll have ice cream for dessert again a same kind of example I'd like lemon cream pie please now instead of lemon cream if you have to say apple I'd like apple pie please or peach I'd like peach pie please or blueberry I'd like blueberry pie please or if you have to ask orange meringue I'd like orange meringue pie please or coconut custard I'd like coconut custard pie please now here are a few conversations related to having dinner at a restaurant conversation a speaker one what will you have sir speaker two may I have a menu please speaker one a menu here you are sir speaker two now I'll need a few minutes to look it over conversation B speaker one I'll have the sirloin steak listed here speaker two how do you like your steak well done speaker one no I'd prefer it medium rare speaker two I'm sure you'll enjoy our steak conversation C speaker one would you care for a soup speaker two yes I would vegetable soup please speaker one what would you like for your main course speaker two I'm going to have beef stew for my main course conversation D speaker one would you care for a dessert after your main course speaker two possibly what kind of pie do you have speaker one peach banana cream and blueberry chiffon speaker two I think I'd try the banana cream conversation E speaker one coffee tea or milk speaker two coffee with the meal please speaker one do you want cream and sugar speaker two no I'll take my coffee black now here are a few examples here you can learn how we can ask about different things I'll have the strolling steak listed here now instead of that if we have to ask for pot roast then I'll have the pot roast listed here or roast beef I'll have the roast beef listed here or barbecued beef I'll have the barbecued beef listed here or fillet mignon I'll have the fillet mignon listed here or a Swiss steak I'll have the Swiss steak listed here or a lamb curry I'll have the lamb curry listed here or breaded veal cutlets I'll have the breaded veal cutlets listed here or veal patties I'll have the veal patties listed here or veal parmesan I'll have the veal parmesan listed here or broiled pork chops I'll have the broiled pork chops listed here 
are stuffed pork chops. I'll have the stuffed pork chops listed here. Our baked spider ribs. I'll have the baked spider ribs listed here. Our barbecued spider ribs. I'll have the barbecued spider ribs listed here. Our meat loaf. I'll have the meat loaf listed here. Ham loaf. I'll have the ham loaf listed here. Again, a same kind of example. I'm going to have beef stew. Now we have to ask for pork sausages. I'm going to have pork sausages. Or browned hash. I'm going to have browned hash. Or meat croquettes. I'll have meat croquettes. Or Swedish meatballs. I'm going to have Swedish meatballs. Or Hungarian goulash. I'm going to have Hungarian goulash. Or calf's liver. I'm going to have calf's liver. Or broiled duckling. I'm going to have broiled duckling. Or fried chicken. I'm going to have fried chicken. Or stewed chicken. I'm going to have stewed chicken. Roast turkey. I'm going to have roast turkey. Broiled lobster. I'm going to have broiled lobster. Or scalped oysters. I'm going to have scalped oysters. Or steamed clams. I'm going to have steamed clams. Now here are a few conversations related to dinner. Conversation A. Speaker 1. I hope you're hungry tonight. Speaker 2. I'm sure I'll have a good appetite. Speaker 1. There's a menu right beside you. Speaker 2. Thanks. I see it. Conversation B. Speaker 1. What do you usually have for dinner? Speaker 2. Potatoes and some kind of meat. Speaker 1. Do you ever have anything else? Speaker 2. Oh, I have other things, for example, fish, rice, and vegetables. Conversation C. Speaker 1. The fish is delicious in this restaurant, I hear. Speaker 2. It's a popular dish in this country. Speaker 1. But I always choose steak if possible. Speaker 2. Well, I'm going to have fish. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Do you like vegetables? Speaker 2. I like some, but not all. Speaker 1. What kind do you like? Speaker 2. I like lettuce and radishes and a few others. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Do you always drink tea with your meals? Speaker 2. Not always, but usually. Speaker 1. How do you like your tea? Speaker 2. With sugar and lemon. Now here are a few examples where we should learn how to ask about different things or how to use a sentence differently. I hope you're hungry tonight. Now we can also say ready to eat. I hope you're ready to eat tonight. Or have a good appetite. I hope you have a good appetite tonight. Or feel like eating well. I hope you feel like eating well tonight. Or order enough food. I hope you order enough food tonight. Or something different. I hope you order something different tonight. Again, a similar kind of example. The fish is delicious in this restaurant. Now, instead of delicious, we can also say wonderful. The fish is wonderful in this restaurant. Now, instead of fish, we can say the meat. The meat is wonderful in this restaurant. Or we can also add always. 
the meat is always wonderful in this restaurant. Instead of wonderful, we can also say excellent. The meat is always excellent in this restaurant. Now instead of the meat, we can say the chicken. The chicken is always excellent in this restaurant. Now again, a similar kind of example. That's a popular dish in this country. Now instead of that, we can also say kind of food. That's a popular kind of food in this country. Or we can also say famous. That's a famous kind of food in this country. Now we can also mention a country like the United States. That's a famous kind of food in the United States. Or kind of meal. That's a famous kind of meal in the United States. Or well known. That's a well-known kind of meal in the United States. Now again, a similar kind of example. Do you always drink tea with your meals? Now, if we have to ask for coffee, do you always drink coffee with your meals? Now, instead of always, we can also say usually. Do you usually drink coffee with your meals? Or at breakfast? Do you usually drink coffee at breakfast? Or we can also ask about milk. Do you usually drink milk at breakfast? Now instead of usually, we can also say generally. Do you generally drink milk at breakfast? Now here are a few conversations related to personal health. Conversation A, speaker one, you look very pale. Speaker 2. I feel rather dizzy and I have a headache. Speaker 1. Maybe you're catching a cold. Speaker 2. You're probably right. Conversation B. Speaker 1. You went to the doctor today, didn't you? Speaker 2. Yes. I go once a year for a checkup. Speaker 1. What did he say? Speaker 2. He said my health was good. Conversation C. Speaker 1. Have you put on weight recently? Speaker 2. I probably have. Speaker 1. Maybe you didn't get enough exercise. Speaker 2. I really don't, but I'm careful about eating. Conversation D. Speaker 1. You certainly look very healthy to me. Speaker 2. I've been feeling very well lately. Speaker 1. Haven't you gotten a little heavier? Speaker 2. Yes, I think I have. Conversation E. Speaker 1. You certainly look happy about something. Speaker 2. I've lost some weight. Speaker 1. You look much better. Speaker 2. I feel better too. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask or say different things. You look very pale. Instead of pale, if we have to say rested, then the sentence would be you look very rested or sunburned. You look very sunburned or healthy. You look very healthy or well. You look very well or sleepy. You look very sleepy. Again, the same kind of example. You certainly look happy about something. Now, instead of happy, if you have to say angry, you certainly look angry about something or excited. You certainly look excited about something or nervous. You certainly look nervous about something or upset. You certainly look upset about something. Again, a same kind of example. I feel rather dizzy. Now instead of dizzy, if we have to say feverish, I feel rather feverish 
or instead of rather we can also say quite I feel quite feverish now instead of feverish if we have to say nauseous I feel quite nauseous or instead of quiet we can also say a little I feel a little nauseous or sick to my stomach I feel a little sick to my stomach now again a same kind of example I go once a year for a checkup now instead of once if we have to say twice I go twice a year for a checkup or several times a year I go several times a year for a checkup or every other year I go every other year for a checkup or every two years I go every two years for a checkup again the same kind of example have you put on weight recently instead of you if we have to mention someone's name like Mary then the question would be has Mary put on weight recently now instead of put on if we have to ask last weight then the question would be has Mary lost weight recently or instead of Mary if we have to say your friends then the question would be have your friends lost weight recently or been on a diet have your friends been on a diet recently or if you have to ask about someone like a person for example mrs brown then the question would be has mrs brown been on a diet recently now here are a few conversations related to common health problems conversation a speaker one I have a terrible headache today speaker two have you taken any aspirin for it speaker one yes I'll get over it soon speaker two lying down for a few minutes might help it too conversation B speaker one I've got a cold in my head speaker two it's probably this terrible weather Speaker 1 Yes, it's giving everyone a cold. Speaker 2 I hope I don't catch one. Conversation C Speaker 1 What are you taking for your cold? Speaker 2 Just the usual things. Water and fruit juice. Speaker 1 You'll be over it soon then. Speaker 2 I really hope you're right. Conversation D. Speaker 1. You look tired. Are you ill? Speaker 2. I think I've caught a cold. Speaker 1. How can you tell? Speaker 2. My throat is sore. Conversation E. Speaker 1. You don't look very well. Speaker 2, I don't feel very well either. Speaker 1, why don't you rest for a few minutes? Speaker 2, I think I will. Now again, here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask or how we can say different things. I have a terrible headache today. Now instead of headache, if you have to say stomachache, then I have a terrible stomach ache today or instead of terrible we can also use the word severe I have a severe stomach ache today or instead of stomach ache if we have to say backache then I have a severe backache today or instead of severe we can also say very bad I have a very bad backache today or ear ache I have a very bad ear ache today again a same kind of example lying down might help it too now instead 
we can also say taking some medicine. Taking some medicine might help it too. Or resting a while. Resting a while might help it too. Or going to bed. Going to bed might help it too. Or drinking some tea. Drinking some tea might help it too. Again, a similar kind of example. What are you doing for your cold? Instead of cold, if we have to ask about toothache, then the question would be, what are you doing for your toothache? Or instead of toothache, we have to ask about upset stomach. Then the question would be, what are you doing for your upset stomach? Instead of upset stomach, if we have to ask about rheumatism, then the question would be, what are you doing for your rheumatism? Or sore throat, what are you doing for your sore throat? Again, a similar kind of example. I think I've caught a cold. Instead of this, if we have to describe about a broken finger, then I think I have broken my finger or a scratched arm. I think I have scratched my arm, injured my knee. I think I have injured my knee or hurt my shoulder. I think I have hurt my shoulder. Now again a similar kind of example. My throat is sore. Instead of throat, if we have to describe about toes, my toes are sore or leg. My leg is sore or shoulders. My shoulders are sore or wrist. My wrist is sore or chest. My chest is sore. Now here are a few conversations related to at the doctor's office. Conversation A, speaker 1, I think I've got a fever. Speaker 2, do you feel very hot? Speaker 1, yes, and I've been sweating a lot. Speaker 2, you'd better go to a doctor. Conversation B, speaker 1, I feel quite sick, doctor. Speaker 2, can you tell me about it? Speaker 1, I've got a headache and stomach cramps. Speaker 2, I'd better take your temperature. Conversation C, Speaker 1, is the cut on my hand dangerous? Speaker 2, no, but there's a little infection. Speaker 1, what can you do about an infection? Speaker 2, I'll use an antibiotic and it'll be gone by tomorrow. Conversation D, Speaker 1, have you ever had pneumonia? Speaker 2, yes, I had it about two years ago. Speaker 1, have you ever had measles? Speaker 2, no, I've never had measles. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Do I have anything serious, doctor? Speaker 2. Only a slight cold. Speaker 1. Will it last very long? Speaker 2. No, it'll probably go away in a day or two. Now here are a few examples where we shall again learn how we can ask about different things or how we can reply or say about different things. I think I've got a fever. Now instead of fever, if we have to say a rash, I think I've got a rash or an allergy. I think I've got an allergy or an infection. I think I've got an infection. Or a blister. I think I've got a blister. Or an inflammation. I think I've got an inflammation. Or 
an abscess. I think I've got an abscess. Again, a similar kind of example. What can you do about an infection? Now, instead of this, if you have to describe appendix, then what can you do about an appendix or a flu? What can you do about flu or an abscess? What can you do about an abscess or diarrhea? What can you do about diarrhea or insomnia? What can you do about insomnia or a sore throat? What can you do about a th sore throat? Now again, a similar kind of example. Have you ever had pneumonia? Now instead of this, if we have to ask for hay fever, then the question would be, have you ever had hay fever or asthma? Have you ever had asthma or rheumatism? Have you ever had rheumatism or sinus trouble? Have you ever had sinus trouble? Or ulcers? Have you ever had ulcers? Or low blood pressure? Have you ever had low blood pressure? Again, a same kind of example. I've never had measles. Instead of measles, if we have to describe mumps, I've never had mumps. Or scarlet fever. I've never had scarlet fever. Or chicken pox. I've never had chicken pox. Or smallpox. I've never had smallpox. Or tuberculosis. I've never had tuberculosis. Or malaria. I've never had malaria. Again, a similar kind of example. It'll probably go away in a day or two. Instead of a day or two, if you have to say an hour or two from now, then the sentence will be, it'll probably go away in an hour or two from now. Or in a matter of minutes. It'll probably go away in a matter of minutes. Or in a short time. It'll probably go away in a short time. Or within few hours. It'll probably go away within a few hours. Or before you get home. It'll probably go away before you get home. Now here are a few conversations related to quitting and finding jobs. Conversation A. Speaker 1. How did you find your new job? Speaker 2. I went to an employment agency. Speaker 1. Was it worth it to do it that way? Speaker 2. Yes. They were able to get me something good right away. Conversation B. Speaker 1. I think I'm going to change jobs. Speaker 2. What do you want to do that for? Speaker 1. There's not enough chance to get ahead here. Speaker 2. But don't forget, you're getting a pretty good salary. Conversation C. Speaker 1. Did it take you long to apply for a job? Speaker 2. Too long, in my opinion. Speaker 1. What did you have to do? Speaker 2. Speak to people, fill out forms, and wait. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Is John going to quit his job next month? Speaker 2. No. He's going to quit next January. Speaker 1. Are his parents going to support him then? Speaker 2. No. He isn't going to ask them for any money. Conversation E. Speaker 1. I'd like to speak to the personal manager, please. Speaker 2. May I ask what it's about? 
speaker one i'd like to see him about the position advertised in the today's newspaper speaker two certainly just have a seat over there for a moment now here are a few conversations related to office details conversation a speaker one how long has that man been over there at the desk speaker two about a minute or two I think speaker one can you find out what he wants speaker two I'll ask him right away conversation B speaker one has the secretary sent the letter yet speaker two yes she has already sent them the letter speaker one she still hasn't sent a copy of the letter to me. Speaker 2, I forgot to tell you, she gave me your copy. Conversation C. Speaker 1, to whom did you send the invoice? Speaker 2, I sent it to the general sales company. Speaker 1, specifically, whom did you address it to? Speaker 2, I addressed it to the purchasing agent. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Have you finished the report on current investory yet? Speaker 2. No, I haven't, but I certainly wish I had. Speaker 1. Why haven't you finished it? Speaker 2. I didn't have enough time to spend on it yesterday. Conversation E. Speaker 1. I'm having some trouble with the sales volume report. Speaker 2. You didn't have any trouble with your report last week. Speaker 1. Well, there are some difficult parts in this one. Speaker 2. I'm sorry, but I don't have any suggestions.